In this movie, I'm going to show you how to write a, a simple Python 3 program and to trace through the program step by step to look at the values of the variables as the program runs. Now we can keep track of that by using pen and paper or I could uh, type something into my editor window. So what I've done, I've opened up Python. So you see the window on the left and on the right. I've opened up a, a, just a text editor. And in the text editor, I'm just going to write a few notes. So let's go to open a new file. So file, new file, opens a new editor window so we can write some code. So let's save this code as, so I'm going to save to my desktop and let's save this code as trace.py, okay, so this program is going to illustrate how we can trace through a program to check the value of variables as the program runs. So let's let's write a little program. Let's say age is assigned a value of 21. And let's add uh, 2 to the age. So we'll say age is assigned age plus 2. And now when this line runs, What's going to happen is the current value of age, which is 21, will be added to 2, and the result of that addition will then be assigned back into the age variable. So after these two lines have run, the age variable has a value of 23, which is 21 plus 2. So, now if I want to see, if this program runs as it is, we won't see the uh, results and we want to see the final version of the value of age. Now to see that, I can type print age. Now before I run this code, what I want to do is, in the right hand text editor window, let's just keep some track of the variable values. So our variable is called age and when the program runs, after running the first line, age is assigned a value of 21. So 21 is assigned to age, so the value of age is 21. Now, after running the second line, the value of age will change. It's going to take the current value. Now, we know the current value is 21. And we're going to add 2 to that to make 23. And then 23 is assigned back into the age variable. So after running line 2, the age variable has changed. It, it used to be 21. It's now 23. And if we print age now, it should print this last value here, 23. So let's run it and see what it does. Now uh, this program has changed, you can see the little star there. So I'm going to save the code to make sure it's saved and then run. And now you can see the result is 23. So 23 is the last value of age after the three lines here have been executed. So in this way, keeping track of the value of our variables, this helps us to understand what's going on. And should you have a question in a quiz or an exam where you're asked to show the output of variables, then this is a good way to, to keep track of the value of variables when you're doing a quiz or an exam. Just keep a note of the value of each variable as each line is executed. And in a later movie, I'll give you uh, other examples.